Welcome, child. Follow my voice and prove your worth. to my goddess's power and dark beauty. Homie is not the first word that comes to mind. Something good here, I hope. peace as well. Not just any true soul would have succeeded in following my path through this place. You should be pleased. My creations are more than a sum of their parts. They are mere sketches compared to my masterwork. That would leave you in awe, should you be fortunate enough to bear witness. You are a true soul. There is no excuse for you to not recognize your betters. But never mind. Your potential may outweigh your ignorance. I am Balthazar, chief advisor to General Thorne, and entrusted with a mission of utmost importance. Do you know what is at stake here? Balthazar headed a monastic order that controlled a place called Amketran in the deserts of Kalimshan. But he is long dead from what you recall. Oh, him. Yes, I decided to take his name for myself. After taking his rib bones. Suits me better. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think. But enough idle chatter. Keep to the matter at hand. You do know what's at stake here. Yes? There is a relic here. One which General Thorn desires. No, needs. I will retrieve it for him. And you will help me. Ignorant you may be, you've shown some prowess in scouting and combat by making it this far. This necromancer has Kethrick's trust. Helping him could be just what you need to gain access to the man himself. Fine, if it'll spare me your bleating. The relic lends the general his strength, his invulnerability. It must be recovered before his enemies attempt to exploit it. I do not need you or your help, but you are here in spite of that, so I may as well make use of you. The relic is close, but the way is barred and Shah's dead are uncooperative. Clear the path for me by blade, cunning, or whatever it I will remain here until you have succeeded, or fallen. I trust this gas bag about as far as I can throw him, which isn't far. But perhaps better to play along, for now. flesh to aid you on your way. Ring this bell, and he will come. <clears throat> My brother is no intellectual powerhouse, but he is strong, loyal, and punctual. Should a fight turn against you, remember the bell. In part, yes. My poor unborn twin. Mother always resented me for it, said I strangled him in the womb. If you can believe such tripe. Besides, once I developed my powers, I fetched him from the graveyard and brought him back. Gave him a new, better body. Alas, Mother was not. We're still close. She's in a jar on the shelf. Over there. My creations need tending to. Not that it's any of your concern. This one's broken. He once tormented me as a youth, lifetimes ago. Now he serves me forever. No rest for you yet, Mikan. You will serve me until I am satisfied. The devil is of no relevance to my goal. Besides, it seems you handled him well enough. I no longer hear that blasted singing of his. Perhaps I will seek out his carcass, should I be afforded the opportunity. Surely there are some parts I could put to use. Flesh will remain here until Kork. But don't fear, he has very sharp hearing. I chose his ears myself. Now, get to work.
Let's move. Moving in. Nothing of value comes easy. Overcome my trials and win my embrace. Prove myself worthy, Lady Shaw. Her most vaunted treasure. Countless initiates walked these halls once. Seeking to become dark justices, I will follow in their path. I will succeed. Goblins are such vile parasites. Given your own nature, are you really the one to judge? contains an ancient rust-colored blood stain. It forms a neat disc, as if spilled calmly and willingly. You recognize this as a trial where initiates would prove themselves to Lady Shah. This one would test their ability to navigate her sacred darkness. Navigate the darkness to feel my embrace. No 
time to rest. Continue to not fail me. Quick word. Fate, dost thou require a new ally? Then thou must return. This is the price of balance. Well counted. By doom and dusk I strike thy name from the archives. Sweethearts, no. I prefer them savory. This is what I get for trying to strike up conversation. Here goes nothing. Can't afford to stay idle. Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Another of Lady Shah's trials that her initiates must face. This one would challenge their combat prowess. Mm. It teaches us that we are our own worst enemy much of the time. Her embrace will elude us until we shed that which holds us back. Best be on my way. I'm a spot for an ambush.
shouldn't have made me your enemy. It's easy these days. work to do another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering 
Another trial for Lady Shah's initiates. This one would put their skills of stealth and infiltration to the test. looks familiar. of heroes. Your feet sully it. We are small but many. Leave or see what happens. Thank you. 
Lady of Sorrows guide us. If you're sure. Well, that ends you know, not as bad as it could have. Trolls report more activity among the cultists. What now? No! And pet I'm sure you will. Now, if you're done... Get the bottle. Hand me the... My life. Then give it time. We will see victory yet. What's up for discussion? There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. Cute. Maybe she'll write a ballad about me. She can leave out the part where my brother and sister were dragged away screaming while I was saving the orphans. If you hadn't filled their heads with all that self-righteous heroic crap at the Grove, none of this would have happened. Dead for all I know. Or in the cult's tower with the others who were taken. They're my responsibility. You go save the world, or your own ass, or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. Don't be shy. Have a We're at the finest stock. I tried telling Mr. Roland that he'd had enough too. He didn't like it then, either. If this is about Roland, go away! Sorry. Roland snapped too, and I didn't like it. isn't very good with anyone. He yelled at me just because I told him not to drink anymore. It was for his own good. He can barely stand up straight. Yeah. He did save us after all. Anyway, it's his loss. I found this book. Old, dusty, full of strange lettering. Pretty sure it's magic. I was gonna give it to Roland so he could learn new spells, you know? Beats drinking till he forgets the ones he knows. 
Maybe. Thanks for talking and stuff. Trinkets and doodahs. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. We've been waiting, hoping against hope, for someone like you. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. I... No, I cannot. I simply impart the blessings the Moon Maiden provides me. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. <sighs> Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. <sighs> Pathetic. The Absolute sees all, you fool. The Absolute? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Time to go, Isabel.
You should take a look. Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Kederic will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Let's hope your cunning is as strong as your optimism. You're the key to all of this. No mercy. For Kethric will have none on you. End this.
corpse regards you lifelessly. Outside the inn, buried near graveyard, she found out. Capture Salunus Cleric. Now's not the time. Just about. Just about. Do you trust no me? one cares. No one but oh. us. We will see victory yet. Still breathing, despite everything. Mole would do the same for any of us. You know it! But how do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. We could. I beat up those harpies, and they're way scarier than shadows. You know what Mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Look at him. He's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mol would be really mad at us. Fine. But you gotta understand, Mol is family. Bring her back, please. Very well. The corpse does not respond. First cultists nearly murder us, and now we have a traitor on the inside. Can't we trust anyone? I know. You've been there for us every step of the way. It's just all a bit much sometimes, you know? Know your key, Helen. Be patient. Your chance will come. Until then, watch. I just want.
That's far enough. His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. Ah, one blessed like myself. What news, Trousseau? General Kethrick's advisor went off on a field trip. Zarel's in charge till he gets back. You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber, Trousseau. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Well then, let's not keep her waiting. Praise the Absolute. Simple enough. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover Another the truth secret song. of the absolute. The disciple will want to see through the main doors. The absolute prayers is such a creature as that. We are each of us. The absolute herself called us here. They cannot stop us from seeing Zorel now. I should speak up. Not all of us survived the shadows to stand here. My wife, my sons, they were unworthy. Don't mind Mig and her meat sounds. It's just her brain slopping around in her skull. Like a living being extending through the walls. Big! In walls above! Maybe. Whole tower. Loudest near kitchen. But Mig Band! Not allowed to pet nose! Mm. You find meat? You share! As we was told, General, followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Ass! No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She... Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. A new true soul come to share their wisdom? We did as we were told. We're loyal to the Absolute. Tell him! Silence! True soul. You have seen these goblins at work, have you not? What say you? See? What I tell ya? Praise the absolute! Faith without action is anemic, sickly, in a word, useless. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them, quickly. What? No! 
You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> Sorry, my lord, she's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. as you see fit. Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. Here, in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! Israel. The seat of the Absolute's power. Occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Cold. Hostages. The Absolute one. Hostages! Now, valuables only hostages! The absolute she shows us! So many legions of goblins and more serving the absolute. The, the spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Something's on my mind. She sees everything we are. Do you understand? There is no hiding from her.
A moment, true soul. You use a spoon to stir the soup, Barnabas. Forget the axe, my darling. <laughs> now, how can I help you? I've shown Barnabas a kinder way. A kinder name is only fitting. That is the gift the Absolute gave me when I stood before her. To rewrite the lives of her faithful. Make them believe there's something better. I have. It is one thing to hear her voice. Quite another to feel the power she can grant. Observe. Barnabas, sweetie! Come show what a good boy you are! What would you like him to do? The prayer, I think. Barnabas struggles with civilized speech, but he's been practicing. You feel her will surge outwards and envelop the creature, inexorable as the tide. of restraint is gone. Barnabas has tasted blood and wants more. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Father, can I go? Let's see. Maybe 
Maybe I need more pockets. Ugh, something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. Raj Oblodra, trader in blood and the sanguineous arts. It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul and your pale companion. I'd like to offer my services, if you're willing. I trade in blood and the potions that can be wrung from it. I'm more than happy to make you one, if you'd honor me with your blood. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. No idea, but it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together, hmm? Research, naturally. A little experimentation, perhaps. I have an innate curiosity for all things sanguine. Just a little prick and it's all over. Close your eyes. There we are. All of your very best traits in a bottle. Use it well. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your friend. He's a vampire, no? Or one of their spawn, at least. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. I assume he belongs to you? I'm sure he really believes that. How utterly adorable. Do you have a name, Spawn? <laughs> uh, Starian, but, but hold on. Good. Now, Astarian, I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale, but it's yours if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Oh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? I'm sorry, but could you excuse us a moment? Are you actually asking me to do this? Trading me for some, some, some potion? Because there's something wrong with her blood. I can smell it from here. It's rank. I can't say. It just smells wrong. Unnatural. Drinking it wouldn't kill me. But it would not be pleasant. I don't have all day, true soul. Fine. I'll do it. Darling, I've had a sudden change of heart. 
After all, who could resist such a delectable neck? Hold very, very still. your taste. You're fetid, full of corruption. I feel exquisite, though. So here's my part of the bargain. I hope you find it as satisfying as I found this. It was everything I imagined, and then more. I'll be able to put this to good use. Welcome back, true soul. Come back any time. Another step forward. does. Not if you keep them lips clapped together. 